Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. So today we are going to do our first test flight using the Mini 3 Pro and the Goggles Integra. Yesterday DJI released some firmware that now makes goggles compatible with the Mavic 3 series and the Mini 3 Pro. It's compatible with both the Goggles Integra and the Goggles 2. Now the only downfall is you do have to use the Motion 2 to fly the drone. You can't use a standard controller. So that is a little unfortunate, uh, but so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to take the Mini 3 Pro for a flight with the Motion 2 and the Goggles Integra. Now, just a couple things I do want to go over with you before we take flight. Uh, just a couple things. Um, first of all, if you do pair everything together, and I actually uploaded a video yesterday going over all the procedure to get them paired. You don't have to repair it every time if you want to go back to a regular controller. So if you have things paired and you're flying with the Motion 2 and your goggles, then you power the drone back on and your DJI RC or RC Pro, it will just automatically go ahead and connect. Same thing, you power them off, you come back, power up the goggles and the Motion 2, it'll just reconnect to that. So that is a good thing. Now just a couple more interesting tidbits here before we take flight. It says here in the release notes that when you use the goggles with the Mini 3 Pro, obstacle avoidance frontward and backward and A-pass are active. You can record at 4K 60 frames per second, 2.7K at 60 frames per second, or 1080 at 60 frames per second. But none of the intelligent flight features like panoramas, quick shots, master shots, tracking, all that stuff. So you can't use those features in conjunction with the goggles in the Motion 2. The other thing we're gonna to test today are the different camera modes. You know how you can set your camera to FPV or follow mode. We're gonna see how that looks and what the difference is and what the footage looks like. Now at the end of this video, once we've done our test flight, we're gonna take a quick look at the menu system just for those who are curious. So anyways, let's get the drone up in the air and uh, we'll go for a flight. Okay, so we're ready for flight. I got everything powered on. The goggles are on my head. Um, what we're gonna do is take off and I will apologize now. Once I have the goggles on, I'm gonna sound a little funny and uh, it's also very cold out today, so I'm a little bit stuffy. So yeah, I'll apologize in advance. So let's go ahead here. Uh, there's two ways we can take off. It's just like the Avada. First thing we have to do is do a double press of that orange button there. That's gonna start the motors. And then we can press and hold and that will launch the drone. Or the other way we can do it is just press up on the joystick. And again, that will launch the drone. So let's go ahead here and uh, double press that orange button. You can see the motors have started there. And then what I'm gonna do is just press up on the joystick. Just like that there. So to move forward, press the trigger and we'll... And there we go, just gonna get it out of the way a little bit here. Now at this point I'm gonna hit record and I'm gonna be recording both from the drone and the goggle recording. Now at any time, if you have to set the motion controller down, press that red button, that's gonna lock it. Don't set the controller down without doing that, otherwise your drone will go crazy. And then to unlock it, you just press it again. Now it has that error there, not using bound device, because in order to get rid of that, I have to plug it into my phone and change the bound device to the goggles instead of my uh, RC Pro. But uh, we'll just leave that for now. I'm not too worried about it. So right now we're in normal mode. There's only two modes, normal mode and sport mode. So you can see we're moving slowly. And uh, you can adjust. There are some gain settings uh, that we can adjust, but we'll take a look at them after. And as you can see here, it flies just like the Avada. The horizon is stable because we have it on follow mode, the gimbal on follow mode. Let's uh, just uh, head down the river here. And as we move the motion controller, you can see the drone will spin around. We can go up. The drone's going to be raising in altitude here. And again, we could point down and it's going to lower in altitude. But yeah, so let's just go down the river here. We'll go for a quick flight but I am going to put it into sport mode just to get a little bit more speed. And there we go. So here we go. So we can change the camera angle just by pointing down. Change our direction. And I'm not going to do a full range test just to uh, see how far we can get, but uh, I'm going to go down to that bridge there uh, in this location, when I'm flying with the controller, that's usually where it starts to kick out. And uh, you can see there we are a little over 500 meters. We have full RC and HD strength. Our megabits is going down a little bit, but still looks pretty good. 
So I think the range is going to be just fine. It's OcuSync 3 after all, so it should be no different. And yeah, it's really an interesting way to fly. We'll go down a bit. I'm getting to the maximum height here. Well, actually, technically, I'm flying a mini drone, so in Canada here, we can actually go higher than that. But yeah, we'll just do a little turn there. And uh, what I'm going to do here in a bit, we'll get back to that railway bridge up there. Railroad bridge, I should say. And uh, I'm going to put the gimbal into FPV mode, just so we can compare the difference. But the picture quality is actually quite nice. It's very crisp. Actually looks really good. I'm using the goggles Integra, and I have uh, custom lenses in them right now from Hans VR. And yeah, what a world of difference from using the stock uh, DJI lenses. I have astigmatism, so those custom lenses really help. Okay, so that is good. I'm going to lock the drone right now. Now I'm going to bring up the settings here, but I don't know if I can change the gimbal mode while we're recording, but we'll soon find out. So let's go to control. There's our gimbal mode. Let's change that to FPV. We'll exit out of there. And yeah, it's still recording, so that's good. So I'll unlock the motion controller now. And now while I'm flying around, and we turn, you can see it's going to give us that FPV look. The horizon's going to make a bit of a tilt. Again, let's go up the river here. Yeah, this is actually quite interesting. You do have to be careful. I almost hit the record button with my thumb. I actually did that uh, with my Avada a couple weeks ago. You can see we're flying at the full max speed, 16 meters per second, which is good. And the other interesting thing there, just like the Avada, you can see we have that virtual home point. You can see it's at the side there now. But as we get facing the direction where I took off from, you can see that's the home point. So that's a nice feature that they did include that as well. So yeah, this looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. I think a lot of people are going to enjoy this. As mentioned, it's also compatible with the Mavic 3. So we are going to uh, do a test flight with it, but I'll save that for a different video. I have to be careful around trees because it's just spring here right now and there's still a lot of ghost branches. And uh, even though the goggles are nice and clear, sometimes they can be a little difficult to see. So let's just go ahead and we'll bring it home here. And to land the drone here, all we're going to do is pull down on the joystick and it's going to go into the landing mode. And there we go. So I'm going to start recording again here and uh, we're going to take a quick look at the settings just so you can see what we can change. Uh, first of all, if we go into control, we can go into the motion controller. You can see here if we go to gain tuning, we can adjust our flight speeds and we have both normal mode and sport mode. So let's get out of there and then we're going to go down to camera. You can see here uh, we can change our video settings. I can't do that because I'm co currently recording. Uh, we can change our video format. We can turn on grid lines just like we can on a regular controller. I have a center point set. Uh, there's our storage information. We can format the storage cards. Uh, we can reset the camera. And then in here we have advanced camera settings. We'll go into it. There we can adjust whether we record just with the drone or the goggles or we can set it to both. Camera view recording. I can't remember what that's for. We can change our codec and you can see here we can set the sharpness and noise reduction just like we can with the regular controller. We have auto flicker and subtitles and that's basically it. So just some basic settings but enough to get us through. So yeah folks there we go that is our first flight with the goggles Integra. 
the Motion 2 and the DJI Mini 3 Pro. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and got some value out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. It's always greatly appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.